Okay, hey guys. Um, good to see you guys, you know, all my subscribers. And if you're new looking at this video, and today I'm going to show you how to animate and pivot. Now, a lot of people already know this, but there are those who don't know. So for those who don't know, this will be a good video for you. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go down here to this icon here where it says pivot, um, pivot animator. And uh, if you don't have it, you need to download it. So, you know, you can follow the, the, the teaching. So I'm going to go here, open it up. And as you can see, you have this little stick figure here that you can animate. Now, what if you want to, uh, what if you want to use your own stick figure? You know, what if you don't want to use the default figure they have? Well, what you can do is you can go to file up here and you can go to load figure type. I mean, no, no, I'm sorry, create figure type. And what you can do with this is they have all these little options here and you can make your own figure basically is what you can do so yeah i'm not really trying anything i'm just making something but yeah that's what you can do and when you're done you can go to add animation and um i'm just gonna name it something it doesn't matter and look there it is see cool right Yeah, I'm just going to delete that. But I just wanted to show you guys that you don't have to use the standard stick figure. So I'm going to um, I'm going to actually add another figure. If you want to add more, you just come over here to this icon over here and go to add new figure. And there you go. New stick figure. Right there. So it's pretty easy. It's pretty basic. A good way to get started. Now I'm going to show you how to add... Um, and by the way, you can add as many as you want. So if you want to add five figures, here you go. You just keep clicking the button and it adds figures for you. But uh, I don't want that many. All I need is two right now. So I'm going to delete these. So here we are. Going to put that there. Now I'm going to show you how to add a background to your animation. Because look at this. This looks plain, doesn't it? It's got nothing going for it. So what we can do is I can come here and um, I'm just going to type in paint. You know, everyone should have this program, you know, Microsoft Paint. I'm just going to open that up. And here you go. Now, I'm just going to draw a, a background here inside of paint. And you can do this too. going to draw a background here. Let's see. Um, nothing too fancy. Something pretty simple, you know. All right, there we go. Let's see, put that there. Uh, this could be that color. Yeah. Okay, background. Okay, that's the window, that's the floor, and the wall there. That's all we really need. So I'm going to save this as um, background. Background 1. Yeah, let's call it background 1. Okay, so I have that saved. Now what I can do is, I can go here, back to Pivot Animator. Go to the top where it says file, and um, I'm going to go to load background. Okay, um, now you see here, this is the background I wanted, right? Just go there, click yes, 
and there you go Ooh, ooh it's a bit too big now here's another thing guys if the background was too big what you want to do is you want to go back to paint and you want to go to select and you just want to shrink it so that it's not as big as it was you just want to shrink the size of it so that should be better so I'm just going to go to save as I'm going to name it something else just 104 back one 104 okay I'm going to go back here I'm going to go low back one again and I'm going to basically reload the same thing the same back one all right here we go look that's much better isn't it the background was smaller because I decreased the size and you know I renamed it okay so now we have our animation now if you want to change the color of the figures just to uh, make them a little bit more distinguished you know <laughs> uh, I can go click I can click the figure click one of the points and go down here where it says figure color where the mouse is click that and select the color so I want this figure to be um, red yeah a dark red okay so there we go there's our dark red and um I want this one guy I want this black one to punch the red one in the face so I'm gonna have the red one woke up and punch him so you can just move the figures and make it look like he's about to woke almost and again so just move them over a little bit And again, guys, I'm kind of wussing, so I'm not really putting that much effort into this. But I just want to show you, you know, the things you can do with this. Okay. So there we go. Um, I'm going to make him punch this guy. that okay so there we go we have our animation I'm done now here's if you go to the play button I'm going to click I'm going to take loop off because if you have loop on the animation it's just going to keep repeating itself and I don't like to put that on it but I'm going to take that off and as you can see the animation is um, complete now if we want to render this animation you want to go to file and you want to go to export animation now this is very important you have to get this part right um, be sure you go to separate images that's what you want you want to put it on separate images and um, I'm just gonna name this um, a for example okay so it's a the animation is saved now if I go to my library and go to where I saved it I think I saved it on pictures so it'd be on pictures somewhere you can see that the um you know the frames are there and they're um 
you know, they're images, separate images. Now, to put this all together, we want to go to Windows Movie Maker. You see this little icon at the bottom? Um, Windows Movie Maker is an um, editing program. It's very easy to get. It shouldn't be too hard to get your hands on. Um, it's free. So, yeah, and most computers come with it. Okay, just type in Windows Movie Maker, and I'm sure you will find more information about it. But I'm going to click Windows Movie Maker. It's going to take me to Movie Maker. Um, now I want to go to Add Videos and Photos. And I just want to select all of these frames in the animation. Select all of these frames. And I want to slow the speed down. Where it says Video Tools, I want to slow the speed down to one second. And now look. But that's a bit too slow, huh? So if that's too slow, I can um, make it faster. So I'll just say 0 0.3. Okay. And now look. Um, it's still a bit too slow. So let's let's bring it down to um, 0 0.1. That's a lot faster. And as you can see, we have an animation. And if we want to continue that, all we would have to do was go back into editing. You know, start a new um, a new file in a Pivot Animator and continue this animation and group it all together. You get what I'm saying? I think you guys get it. Okay. Um, and if you want to edit the individual images, you can simply go to paint and um, and select one of the images. So what if I wanted to add a little bit of blood, right? All I would have to do is go to the image and um, just edit. Draw a little bit of blood there. You know, make it look, look a little bit violent and save it. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, that is all for right now. I hope this video has helped you. Um, if you like this, you can subscribe for more. Be sure to let me know in the comments. Um, give me some ideas, and who knows? I might um, talk about that subject. So, all right, guys. See you guys later.